Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little get ready with me since I haven't done one of these in a millennia. So we'll see if I'm even good at it still. And I was thinking like, what do I want to talk about today? And really like my main focus in my entire life right now is work. I feel like I literally work so much. I work 24 fucking seven and i feel guilty when i'm not working and that's like the the only con of when you're like building a business if if like my business is not up and running automated like fully functional it's like i feel guilty if i'm not working literally that's all i've been doing lately by the way i just got the smashbox photo finish primer and it's so good oh my god it's so good i've i've used this before obviously it's like a classic in the industry but it's been a very very long time it's probably like the first primer i ever purchased but it literally maybe you can see on camera like just how well it mattifies blurs smooths the whole shebang -y. I got, came to terms with the fact that I may be working too much like today because I've had returns sitting on my stairs that I need to return to Fashion Nova and to Windsor like just at the mall or whatever and literally they've been sitting there for like over a week maybe two weeks there's a thing with the com my computer I need to do like random like little errands you know like that are so fucking annoying and trivial that I'm just like oh that can wait but they're like adding up and they're just like I'm not gonna be able to return this shit soon, you know, but it's like, it's just annoying because I, I have been working so much and I wanted to let you guys know what I'm working on. Some of you may know that I have been working on my own skincare line for a very long time and that is because it's gone through a lot of different evolutions and stages. I started formulating skincare like in 2014. I made my own skincare products and I got obsessed with like natural butters and oils and just like these products that basically came straight from the earth that like were so good for the skin and i started formulating this stuff in my kitchen Bought, like a commercial sized blender is that what it's called no a commercial sized mixer and i would find a way to get the perfect formulation to get like the butters that i was making and the the oils and stuff like to the perfect consistency and i was making like whipped butters that you could put on your face i think i mentioned this to you guys before but like for a while for a few years like during my hippie phase i like wouldn't use anything but oils and butters which obviously now like i know it's not the best thing to do for your skin but anyways it is good to use once in a while and I still love uh, butters and oils but that's where I kind of started this whole situation of like wanting to have my own skincare line and I sold my products like basically just to my friends and to girls in my beauty school and like Etsy and like places like that but really I wasn't I wasn't like I was doing everything myself and like it was just so time consuming and I just didn't care for it that much. Um, I knew I wanted to do something on a little bit of a bigger scale and while I was making these products and whatever I decided I wanted to go to beauty school because like I just figured like I wanted to learn more about the industry, learn more about skin, about the scientific side of skin and you know like have more credibility and when I go to sell my products I want to have more credibility basically. So I went to beauty school, I went to Aveda and it was a great experience um i am a licensed esthetician which you guys know i do not do anymore like most of my work is i did work at a spa but now i just take clients personal clients like over the phone i do like a lot of long distance beauty coaching skincare coaching i also do skincare consulta consultations on here which you guys know i just started doing that again so that's kind of how i use my license now coming back full circle like back in 2017 i decided to commercially launch a product which meant like hiring a lab hiring a chemist like you know going on a bigger scale with a product idea that i had in mind that i wanted to launch and then after i didn't have like a big budget for that if you want to manufacture one product moqs are five thousand so your minimum order quantity is going to be five thousand units of a product that you need to order or that you're custom making basically 
So, and if the unit cost is like $4, like it just can get very expensive. It can get very expensive and with the particular product I wanted to launch, this product was going to, it was very unique. And yes, the MOQ was very high and it just didn't really make sense to me because it wasn't market tested. It's like a brand new invention, which I may launch, you know, one day, but to start, you know, it just, for me, I was like, I need to like do something that I know is going to sell. Always thinking about like, what is my sales channel? Where am I going to sell this? How am I going to sell it? So I took a step back and decided I wanted to sell my products or sell my products on Amazon. And I was thinking I could sell this product on Amazon. But um, after learning about how Amazon works, I just kind of fell in love with Amazon by itself and like the potential that Amazon, the scalability of Amazon, the accessibility of Amazon, what it, Amazon stands for. Like I am like big on efficiency and like I want to buy everything on Amazon. I want to buy like my car on Amazon. I want to buy my fucking boyfriend on Amazon. I want to like, I just want to literally not have to ever leave my house basically, which is pr pretty much everyone's goal in life, I think. So yeah, I just fucking love Amazon. Long story short, I fell in love with the business model and decided I wanted to pursue that. So last year at this time, I started looking into um, the Amazon business model, I started studying it. I started looking at different manufacturers that kind of catered to the Amazon demographic. And I have tested so many products. Like I'm talking like dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens, like tens of hundreds, not, I would say probably not like hundreds, but like probably close to a hundred, like a lot, a shitload. I have tested so many products. I started taking this course that teaches you how to sell on Amazon like a month or two ago. And that has been such a game changer. So I finally have identified my first product and I'm super, super, super excited about that. It is a skincare product. It will be launching probably in March. So I will definitely keep you guys posted, but I can't believe this journey of like where I've come from and like where I'm going to and like where I've ended up basically, you know, kind of crazy. What time is it? Oh, bitch. Are you kidding me? Why did I decide to do this video and I'm in a rush? So anyways, that's like really freaking exciting because my thing is, is like, you know, I have way more capital now to invest, but I still want to mitigate my risk. So looking at the Amazon business model, like I just, I found a product that like I know it has high demand, low competition. And I personally love this product. I think everyone should be using this product. So it's easy for me to sell. And I plan on launching like a full skincare line on Amazon, but like this is going to be my first product. And then I, I hope to launch another product at least once a month for the rest of the year. That's kind of like my plan. And I just am like so excited about this because like the evolution of where this came from, like. Okay, I started studying Amazon back in 2017, but like kind of gave up because I didn't know what I wanted. You have to know what you want in life in general, but I didn't know what I wanted at the time. But I always kept my eye on that and just didn't know how it was going to fit into like what I was doing. But it's just such a great way to launch a business in general because what a lot of people do is they launch their business on Amazon and then they eventually take it off of Amazon so they're not fully dependent on, on Amazon. Yeah, sorry, I'm not like telling you what products I'm using or anything. This was not supposed to be like a walkthrough. This was kind of like a chit chat. I've been a lot, a lot, a lot. I feel guilty every second I'm not working. I feel guilty if I get distracted by something, you know, it's just like, I can't wait until this shit is like, more solid because it's a lot of like work and like I know it's going to work or otherwise I wouldn't be investing this much time and money but it's like it's still like I don't feel the tangible results yet you know like when you connect with something you're like 
well, I've never done that before. So is it really gonna be good? Or, you know, you can't really feel that it's gonna be amazing yet. I can't wait for the moment till I get my first sale. I think it's gonna be like a drug, you know, like you get a sale, you're like, oh, this actually works. There are people on the other end of this that are gonna buy this, you know? I just do my eyeliner real quick. That's kind of like the deal about what's going on with me right now. Like in conclusion, like launching a company is a process. Like. Even like, let's say hypothetically, like, I mean, for me, like just failure is just not an option. Like I will keep creating and keep trying until something works, you know, but like with anything, like it's just literally it's such a process, you know, you have to be so patient and like you have to plan accordingly. Like numbers are really like not my thing. And you know, at the beginning, literally it's just all numbers. And so like, it's just testing my patience for some of this shit, like it's so tedious adding up the numbers and you gotta put together every single detail. Like it's a hundred percent on you to come up with everything and it's tedious. For example, you, you buy the first round of inventory and then you gotta manage and wait and see when is that inventory gonna run out. And then you gotta place another order and it's like you're placing another order before you even get paid from the stuff you've already sold, you know? So you have to budget really carefully, probably for like, I would just say like at least three to six months where you could completely inject capital into the business without needing to take anything out. You know, you can't like put something for sale and then be like, okay, I'm gonna live off whatever is, whatever the revenue is of what's being sold, whatever the profit is whatever I'm selling because number one is going to stunt the growth of your business. You need to actually reinvest the money back into the business. And number two, like you don't get paid for if you're selling on Amazon or whatever. You probably don't get paid for at least 60 days or so. I know there is a delay. And so like, you can't just like go into it with like not enough money because otherwise you're going to fail because even if you're first, inventory sells out, you're not gonna be able to purchase more inventory. It just takes a lot of planning. And for me, like I like to take calculated risks. I'm not just like throw something at the wall hoping it's gonna stick. Like that was my old method, just create what I wanna create. But like actually when you're in business and you're starting out, you have to kind of do what you know the consumer wants because you need to build momentum, like mitigate your risk. If I already had like, you know, a $5 million business or whatever, then I could take risks. I would have customers. I would have loyal customers. I would have, you know, people who trusted my brand that if I came out with a product that was like the market had never seen before, I'd be like, cool, well, let's try it. Okay, I'm gonna run because I'm running late as hell. But I'm so glad I got a chance to catch up with you guys. And yeah, I'll keep you posted on everything. So that's it for now, guys. Oh, please subscribe. Please like this video. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.